can't sit in the room with him without tearing up. 46-year-old Derek Watson's loved ones say doctors rushed him into surgery Monday night after someone shot him from a car on Westlake Avenue in southwest Atlanta near the MARTA station. Family members say seconds before he lent his phone to a woman who was just assaulted. Being the warm, kind-hearted person that Derek is, he didn't hesitate to pull out his phone to hand it to her when a car drove by and she him in the head. Police haven't released any footage of that car. Medics rushed Watson to Grady, where his family says doctors took him right into surgery. The bullet lodged in his brain. My mind is kind of spinning right now to the point I probably can't return back to school right now. His daughter Deja goes to school at Albany State. She raced back to Atlanta after she found out what happened to her dad. I just want the suspect to be found and punished for his crimes because my dad didn't deserve it because he could have died and then I would have been fatherless. So I wanted to talk about this, right? So, you know, there's been like a couple of situations that have occurred in like this past week. And it immediately made me think about the situation with the brick lady, right? And how there were so many people on social media who immediately sided with this woman and were saying, yeah, you know, oh yeah, you know, as women were the least protected, you know, it wasn't even just black women saying that they were the least protected. It was like women in general, you know, everybody chimed in, you know how it is, like, you know, womenhood and they, oh, you know, we're the least protected and this is so, un this is so not right and this is so unfair and, you know, this person is so sick. Um, even though there has been a lot of things that have come out saying that this lady, you know, basically uh, told a lie about the whole story. It, it did, definitely didn't go like that. It's not the truth. She was not assaulted. Like, so many things have come up about that situation. We have never even heard from that lady ever again. Right. There was never a time that she came and tried to clear the air and say, no, it did happen. I can't believe people are trying to, you know, say that it didn't. And the whole point was that everybody was talking so strongly on the fact that women are so, you know, the least protected and it's so not right and all of these things. And then I had a lot of people DM me on Instagram and show me various stories, um, you know, starting with this one where this situation in particular, it did not um, necessarily go this way because of the woman, but it kind of did, right? So this man sees this woman get assaulted. I don't know if, you know, the people who came back or who spin the block in the car had anything to do with that situation with the woman or not. I am completely unaware of that. It did not say that in the story. However, he was minding his own business. This woman looked as though she was in distress she asked to use his phone. He handed her the phone and it could have cost him his life. This is not a situation of like where, you know, people don't protect women or don't protect. It's not about that. It's that like there's a there comes a point where you have to realize that. Not every time is somebody in need. Are you supposed to be the one to stand there in the gap for them? It can be detrimental to your own health. Sometimes you can be helping a situation that you think is going one way. And everybody flip the script on you and start going after you. Even the person that you were trying to help. And it's sad and it's unfortunate. But as, as much as women were singing on like, oh, you know, uh, all these men, they're supposed to be protecting us. And, you know, if, if I get into it with a man, then a man is supposed to go over there and defend me. Like, you know, having this entitled mentality about protection. And it's not personal. It has nothing to do with, you know, oh, he doesn't want to help her. Men inherently want to be there to step up and want to be there to help. But you see, when you see situations like this, it's going to cause them to retreat because at the end of the day, he's in surgery. He's in critical condition. They're doing surgery on his brain. And because he was being, a, a you know, a good Samaritan and just helping somebody, his daughter could have been fatherless. And you, we still, nobody still knows the outcome of what's going to happen when he comes out of surgery. And this is just one story. There was another story where this man was in a store with his family. And, you know, um, 
some kind of altercation broke loose, I believe, between the woman and her significant other. And this man, being a father, said, I have to help this woman. He steps forward to go and help this woman, and the man pow pows him. And what do we see on the GoFundMe? A hero was taken too soon. Now his child is fatherless. I don't know if he has other children, but they are left fatherless. His spouse, who just had a child with this man, is left without a partner to help her raise her children because he was doing his best to try to help and support somebody in a dire situation. You cannot blame people when they see toxicity happening and they say, I, I got to think twice about this. Mm, maybe I should call the police. Maybe we should get a manager over here. Maybe we should take ourselves away from this situation because we don't know the severity of it. Is it because these are men that you feel uh, their, their lives are, are valued less? That, that's what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to defend you and protect you. If you feel that way, then I want you to watch this story. This young woman. Her friend got into an altercation with her boyfriend. And she was trying to help and protect her friend. And lost her life in the process. So it's not personal. It's not it's not um you know subject to just man just just men. Men don't protect. No. In in all three of these scenarios, right? These are all very uh similar situations where the people who stand in the gap had nothing to do with the situation. In every single scenario, it is all based off of toxic, toxic relationships and a, a toxic situation that a person is trying to come in and intervene and get you out of it. I think sometimes we have to self-reflect. How can somebody care more about your life than you? We have people who are entertained the toxic relationships. We have people who be in the in this situation. I'm not talking about people who cannot leave. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about people who are literally trapped. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about people who play the games. They go back and forth. Somebody tells them something. They don't take it verbatim. They just be like, oh, well, he can't do that to me because I'm the... And the Get their friends involved. have a, a, a part to play in this situation because of the entertainment. They love the chaos, the drama. And because of that, other people have stood in the gap. And the people who the situation actually was revolved around are not inflicted with this situation. How many families changed over this situ over these situations? And again, it's expected for men to just stand there and, and you know protect you and cover you and, and and get you out of something with somebody that you live with or somebody that you all cooped up with. Somebody that if somebody else came around, you would probably push them off and defend your man. And that's why I said, but when we see a young woman stand in the gap and do the same thing, then we look at things a little bit differently because as women, then they start to see themselves in the young woman and say, man. But when it's a man, they can't do that. Men, are, men, you know, it's almost as if they're not human. They don't have feelings. They don't have emotions. All of these stories are heartbreaking. Every single last one of these stories are extremely heartbreaking. 
And the point is, I'm not standing here to say that people shouldn't do good. I'm not standing here to say that people shouldn't support one another. You know, when humanity gets together and, and that we are kind to one another and loving to one another, it's a beautiful thing. But sometimes this is why in other situations, when people get mad at other people for not reacting, these are the reasons why. Why you want to be angry at men, why you want to bash them, why you want to say that they're good for nothing. Oh, you know, they're not the protectors. They are, but they also have to think logically. I don't know the dynamics of this situation. I don't know what I'm stepping into. I don't even know what I'm defending. I don't want to risk this because I have a, a home to go home to. I have other people to protect. I have other people relying on me. devastating it's devastating i'd like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below my heart definitely goes out to every single family member that is inflicted you know it's so sad because when you see it's one situation there's like a flood of people who are in um affected by this one situation and, and think there's three you know it's very very heartbreaking very heartbreaking um, I would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear you guys' opinions on this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you.